In the case of uh, digital technology, this is a, a bit of a grouping that looks at things like wearable technology, the mobile internet, uh, the internet of things, and smart sensors. Um, I mean, everyone's carrying a, a you know, mobile computer in their pocket these days, and uh, it started off as a, a personal use uh, uh, tool, um, but in business it's absolutely fundamental to the way we do business now. And uh, some of these new technologies, even though they, they have um, personal use applications, we can definitely see applications moving into the industrial space, especially for SMEs. Um, so some simple examples on the screen, but uh, uh, there's a photo there of a, a digital tattoo. So you can get an electronic uh, a printed tattoo that you can uh, wear that obviously has sensors uh, for your body, but in this case um, remembers your password so you can sync with your iPhone as a, as a simple example. Um, and you think, well, what applications could there be? Well, there'll, there'll be absolutely uh, uh, many applications in, in industrial. The Google Glasses on the other side um, has a camera, is connected to the internet, you can talk and see um, live information. And you imagine a process worker in the future having the work instruction in front of them as they're building stuff, having the camera in front of them saying the part's good or not good. If you're a maintenance person or a maintenance uh, 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 down in a mine, um, you could be uh, looking at a problem and you've got your tech team back at a control centre in a capital city seeing exactly what you're seeing, giving you the right instruction, get that part, do this thing. You can, you can de-skill some of those things, but you can also leverage the knowledge from a more central space. So this is definitely an area that there's going to be a lot of disruption. Um, in the, in, for the people in the room with factories, um, this is about making our products smarter and, and, and connecting uh, all, of our, all of our networks together. And there's some exciting developments in this area where in traditional uh, large-scale manufacturing, this has been very expensive to do, big PLCs, big networks, uh, big control. Um, it's been possible, but now we're talking about using things that are free to us, internet, um, the web and much lower cost sensors and some of the stuff that Tanya is doing, you know, if you can uh, then link it with Wi-Fi, et cetera, then we can create a new network and, and that's where the power of this is going. Can we please uh, run the video? Thanks. Future. Each bottle contains an RFID chip storing a precise description of how it has to be processed. Which liquid? Which lid? and which label. At each station, the bottle communicates directly with the machine, telling it how it has to be processed. At the end, a computer checks whether the bottle has actually been produced as desired. Factories with network machines and products are already in existence today. In the future, however, these hitherto self-contained systems will be connected together in a comprehensive network. All devices, machines and materials will be duly equipped with sensors and communications technology and connect to each other. These systems are known as cyber-physical systems. The highlight is that they communicate with each other and also control each other cooperatively. For the customers, this means tailor-made products at relatively affordable prices. For industry, it means highly flexible mass production that can be rapidly adapted to market changes. Because in the future, product life cycles will be even shorter. Another reason. I think um, the back end of that video shows obviously where the big players are thinking, but definitely their um, barrier to entry to play with smaller runs and more, uh, um, uh, I guess, lower volume uh, production, which has perhaps been a safe haven for some uh, businesses in the past, is going to change as well. But definitely for there are applications here for high, high, managing highly complex things, taking the paper out of it and, um, and linking it together in, into low-cost networks.